I'm positive that you'll enjoy this paper from the University of British Columbia called Liposomal Lipid Nanoparticles for Extrahepatic Delivery of mRNA. But first we need to talk about lipid nanoparticles or LMPs and what they're made out of. As you might have guessed, they're a nanoparticle made up of several different lipids, which are shown here. An ionizable lipid, a helper lipid, a stabilizer, and finally, cholesterol. These lipids usually need to be added together in very specific ratios in order to make a pretty little particle. So for example, a typical LMP is about 50% ionizable lipid, and only about 10% of it is helper lipid. But what if you didn't follow these guidelines? Well, that's exactly what these authors did. They drastically reduced the ionizable lipid ratio while raising the amount of helper lipids. When they used a small amount of helper lipid, it looks like a regular LMP, just a jumble of lipids with a single lipid layer on the outside. Now let's look at the right image where they increase the amount of that helper lipid. You'll notice that a lipid bilayer or two distinct layers of lipids form around that initial LNP. This new structure, a liposomal LNP, AKA one fatty particle giving a nice big hug to a smaller fatty particle. We wanted to see if using all of the same components but changing their relative amounts would change how this nanoparticle looks. And in turn, if this different looking nanoparticle had a different function. If you can change the function, then maybe you can avoid that pesky little liver. <laughs>